everyone welcome back to my another insights video if you are watching me for the first time my name is rishikesh and i make videos on university education working and life in germany so as part of my work i am currently making a video series called insights videos where i travel to different universities in germany make videos on courses you are interested to study as an international student and provide you all the information in a single video so i meet students there or professors who are teaching the course and i get all the information in in one video so what kind of information do i get basically everything so right from the course structure what kind of jobs you get afterwards what do you study in that particular course what kind of part time jobs available in that city how much monthly expenses are there in that particular study as a student what kind of lifestyle is there what kind of how can how you can even enjoy the life as a student in that city and even at the end of the video i also ask feedback or you know what kind of thing you should come prepared before you come to this course so this video is going to be on information and communication engineering master at technische universite darmstadt make sure you watch this video till the end and to get to know all the information to hear all the feedback and everything and if you haven't subscribed to the channel do that definitely motivates me to create more content for you even if you have subscribed to my channel then you can get notified for the next videos as soon as i post it so without my wasting much time let's get into the video and i hope you enjoy it so i am in darmstadt today i came here to shoot a insights video on tu darmstadt information and communication engineering masters i will have a friend of mine with me and who is going to share all the details with you gayatri can you come in hi Hello. how are you Good. Gayatri is studying masters in communication engineering information and communication engineering here and can you introduce yourself um, yeah. how did when did you come here what are you doing now uh, about your experience or part time jobs that you do yeah yes uh, hi uh, i belong to a small town called nirmaru from andhra pradesh i completed my bachelor's in chennai in the in the field electronics and communication engineering then immediately i came to masters in germany i have got admitted into darmstadt in the field information and communication engineering okay. i have come here in the year 2021 october and right now i'm going to finish two years in germany and from since eight months i have been working as a part time as a working student in in the field machine learning and artificial intelligence in berlin can you also tell us about you know how did you get the admission over here what were the requirements that you fulfilled what are the things that you did like what kind of examinations that you gave what were the university requirements can you tell us a little bit about that yeah before applying to this uh, university i have given my ielts exam okay. and then uh, they require a good score uh, i mean the good bachelor score in the field of electronics or software a good successful mark sheet would prove us and then an ielts that's it we require and then mm -hmm. a, there is an entrance online examination for the a course which is required mm -hmm. so we should take the online entrance exam and then we should score half of the marks it is basically for 12 marks okay. we should score above 6 to okay. get qualified for the to get fulfilled for the requirements okay yeah basically these three things uh, the much? bachelor's degree uh -huh. ielts and an online entrance exam uh, do you mind telling us how much cgpa you had yeah my bachelor's cgpa is 8.2 mm -hmm. and okay. then uh, my ielts score is 6.5 mm -hmm. and my online exam university's entrance online exam score is 8 out of 12 what 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 do they ask in this exam is this is it only based on the bachelor's what what have you studied or do they have any specific yeah things? it's basically a technical examination mm -hmm. what we have studied and what they were expecting us okay. so they basically examine us how far we are good in the technical field all right so we were walking around the campus gayatri was showing me her campus now and we are right in front of the library that's the library that you can see in the, uh, behind me now starting with the course details gayatri can you tell us about your course structure basically information and communication engineering program is structured mm -hmm. in a way that electronics engineer and software engineer can walk into this and find their specific path mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. it is an four semester course which contains of 120 credit points and the last semester would be ended up with master thesis okay. and there is no mandatory internship in this course okay so now going into going into the details what are the things that you study in this uh, in this course or what yeah. are the specialization here yeah. yeah we have 10 subjects offered in mandatory mm -hmm. we can choose 7 out of 10 okay and in the mandatory we have optical communication digital signal processing mm -hmm. technical electrodynamics okay. machine learning matrix uh -huh. analysis kind of mm -hmm. and then they offer elective subjects in three particular categories okay one is communication hardware communication mm -hmm. networks and systems mm -hmm. and communication algorithms 
okay. if a student is interested in electronic side he mm -hmm. can take up subjects which belongs under the communication hardware area okay. Okay. and if students are interested in algorithms and networks and systems mm -hmm. they can choose the subjects like mm -hmm. machine learning computer vision okay. ne uh, communication networks mobile mm -hmm. networking mobile mm -hmm. communication kind okay. of subjects okay. yeah so mm -hmm. The elective areas would be of minimum 28 to maximum 48 a student can achieve okay. and Studium Generale consists of language courses, they mm -hmm. offer ge mm -hmm. uh, German language, mm -hmm. any language the student wants to pursue okay. and then uh, they offer management courses, finance courses mm -hmm. under Studium Generale which mm -hmm. consists of 12 credit points that a person or a student can achieve okay. and then we have optional supplements mm -hmm. and optional supplements students can choose from the above three course I mean the three areas we mm -hmm. have right communication mm -hmm. hardware software and okay. algorithms okay. the student can choose anything from that mm -hmm. and pursue 10 credit points in that okay so yeah. if you are getting confused over here we have uh, like all of this details can be found in a module handbook you can find it on the university website I'll also put the link in the video description you can just check out click on that and say uh, check the uh, all the details basically also there is a one point I would like to share in the mm -hmm. ice program mm -hmm. if a student would take up any subjects and he attempts to fail in that mm -hmm. he should complete it until he passed the subject okay uh, if he crosses three attempts he would be uh, automatically exmatriculated yeah, from the university yeah, you know you have to you have if you fail it for three times yeah they Send you to, they send us. you to India back yeah. basically yeah yeah but for uh -huh. us in TU Darmstadt the new curriculum is like if you if we take up the subject and we fe fail it in the first attempt and if we think like we cannot achieve it or it is not my interest so this subject is hard like we have many reasons right mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. we can drop the subject and we can take another subject so this is a good thing implemented by his program uh, what kind of specialization you have chosen now if you like now you said all of that and uh, type of spe spe specialization but yeah, bas which, yeah. yeah basically I do not have any experience prior to my masters mm -hmm. so I have only student job experience in my bachelor thesis mm -hmm. and a Tech Mahindra internship which has three months mm -hmm. and everything I have done only the work related to machine learning and artificial intelligence okay. Okay. so that's the work I know and re I really liked it a lot mm -hmm. so from uh, after coming here I choose the same field machine learning and artificial intelligence and now I'm working as a uh, research engineer in machine learning and AI in Berlin. That's really good because uh, if you say the working student experience or internship uh, internship experience that really matters and that can help you land in a full time job and that's really good that you are doing something for your specialization that you can show something there. Alright so that's all we got to know about the course details in, from Gayatri and I think you would also be interested to know if there are any scholarship options in this university. So let me ask you Gayatri uh, what are the options you have? on scholarship here in this university? Yes, there are many options. Mm -hmm. uh, if the graduate students who recently started his master's, if mm -hmm. his graduate score is less than 1.8 or something, mm -hmm. he can apply for the university scholarship and mm -hmm. he may get around 300 euros per month. Okay. And the students who are in the first and second semester during their master's program mm -hmm. can apply for Deutschland stipendium mm -hmm. and then they would get 300 euros over there. Okay. And then the f for the only for the female students, they offer this Femtech program. Okay. And then uh, we can meet companies directly over there and there mm -hmm. is no payment for this mm -hmm. but we have a lot of opportunities we can mm -hmm. gain through it. Okay. And then people who are in their master thesis, mm -hmm. if their GPA until the time of master thesis is less than 2.3, mm -hmm. they can apply for the thesis uh, scholarship okay. which they would get 200 euros per month. Okay, so in the beginning I told you right that uh, Gayatri is also holding uh, one scholarship so I think that is Femtech scholarship that you are getting. So can you tell us a little bit more on that, uh, what kind of perks you get with that and how did you come to know, I think yeah, she already told that she got to know from university but what kind of things that you have to apply, what what, have, what you had to do yeah, first to apply all, for this. Uh, if the students want to apply for scholarship programs they must be uh, searching for the flyers uh, which was put all around over the universities like cafes or the mm -hmm. there were the flyers and mm -hmm. you can talk to your seniors about the scholarship opportunities which they had idea about which they yeah. applied to okay. and through seniors I got to know about this female technology which mm -hmm. is femtech mm -hmm. they offer female students a career support mm -hmm. or a networking growth or okay. the uh, or furthering our studies in it mm -hmm. so we can meet HRs directly in the companies like Deutsche Telekom, BMW, Porsche and all mm -hmm. and we can do six months innovation lab with the companies directly okay. through fe female technology program which is Femtech yeah okay and what kind of uh, documents that you had to submit 
Yeah, you there have to is make an, an application. Ap- yes, yeah. there is an application procedure for mm-hmm. femtech. We mm-hmm. have to submit our transcripts and mm-hmm. we have to write a motivation letter. Yeah, basically yeah, provide basically all for, our details and write yeah. a motivation letter to it. Mm-hmm. And there is an assessment program which happens mm-hmm. in a day. Mm-hmm. There is a three rounds of assessment. Yeah, we, okay. if we clear it, we may get into it. It selects five students from every t- university. Okay, I have one more question here now. So. Can you combine scholarship? Like since now you, you are getting the femtech scholarship, but you, can you also apply to another scholarship that from the university that you can get into like let's say three hundred, two hundred euros? Yes, femtech okay. is actually not funded scholarship, mm-hmm. so we can apply uh, while pursuing this femtech scholarship. We mm-hmm. can apply to another scholarship which is totally funded. Okay, yeah. sounds good. So I think that's all we got to know about the scores and all the details. But now I want to ask you. what is the scenario for part time jobs who are in the in the campus what are the opportunities for part time jobs for students yeah in the campus student may get opportunities to work in campus mensa mm-hmm. campus ulb which is library mm-hmm. and they can work under professors as pg students okay as well as uh, uh, we can work under phd students who are uh, mm-hmm. working under the professors yeah okay and then apart from that uh, there are also options to do Not technical jobs in the city as well, right? Yes. If anybody doesn't get it. Yes. Uh, if student wants to earn more, mm-hmm. uh, rather uh, working in the university every day, mm-hmm. they can try some odd jobs in uh, in the city. Like they can work in McDonald's, Domino's, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah, KFC, like kind of things. Okay, not technical jobs, all right. And um, what can you say about you know working student jobs that they can apply for, like internship? Is there anything nearby companies or in the in in Darmstadt that they can apply to? for the technical jobs mm-hmm. uh, if the student comes with prior experience to the master's degree mm-hmm. he or she can start applying as soon as she or he comes to germany so mm-hmm. for the people who doesn't have any prior experience mm-hmm. they may start looking for heavy positions under the professors to gain some experience mm-hmm. and then learn a parallel uh, right. language mm-hmm. and then apply for the mm-hmm. working student jobs or internships around a uh, frankfurt okay so how much do these guys um, how much do you earn with the, with these kind of part time jobs let's let's start from you know heavy jobs to the non technical part time jobs and everything yeah for the heavy jobs mm-hmm. it would depends on the professors and our working hours okay. if you are working around 35 hours per month it we would get around on an average of 400 mm-hmm. to 600 okay. then the people who are working on odd jobs around the city would get around 800 to 1000 per month mm-hmm. and the people who are working in technical field as a working student and an intern students uh, they may get on an average of 1200 to 1800 per month yeah i think for working student it depends on the hours uh, yeah. how much the company is paying and depends on the company to company yes so yeah for 20 hours how much do they pay per hour it depends what is the scenario for full time jobs like when you finish your graduate when you will be graduate from this course uh, what are the, what are the areas that students go into um, what kind of jobs do they get yeah as i mentioned earlier mm-hmm. students can go into electronics background mm-hmm. or into a software background okay. so what i observed from my seniors is mm-hmm. uh, people who took uh, computer hardware as their specific area mm-hmm. they went to uh, they went into the field as a design engineer analog designer mm-hmm. or in an electronics field i mean mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so people who has uh, this communication systems and algorithms mm-hmm. were working as a cyber security analyst or a soc engineer or a data science engineer mm-hmm. or a data analyst okay. or a machine learning engineer okay yeah. like what are the options that student can avail or you know explore over here uh, yeah ba- basically being a student in darmstadt we have everything that we need we have sports fitness we have cycling paths all around the park all around the city to get some beautiful views and we have we- frankfurt very nearby so every one or the other month in the frankfurt or in the darmstadt there is there are fest happening around the cities so it's basically quite entertaining being mm-hmm. in darmstadt mm-hmm. yeah how is your experience like what do you do on weekends Uh, in your free time basically yes in weekends we get some free time to meet friends and have, we basically have fun uh, with food and games yeah we All meet right. friends because during the week we will be so occupied with the working schedule and studies mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so in the weekend we can meet friends we play together volleyball or badminton mm-hmm. kind of things yeah okay like how is accommodation situation in darmstadt like is there any student over heim or student Uh, dormitories here that student can get into yes darmstadt mm-hmm. has many options for students but basically the waiting period is so long uh, uh, people who are interested in applying for tu darmstadt i would like to give one suggestion that if you are fix fix 
using your mind that you want to apply or come into TU Darmstadt while the time you are putting the application you should apply for the student own homes as well because the waiting period is more than a year so you basically have a lot of struggle in accommodation uh, getting a good accommodation yeah okay yeah, that's a nice suggestion actually and what about the student expenses over here how much do students spend in a month considering now the expenses accommodation how much does accommodation cost yeah. and uh, considering the other expenses how much monthly would go for an accommodation we would pay on an average around 350 to 500 euros as a student mm -hmm. and then we pay health insurance about 120 euros mm -hmm. and then uh, our living expenses would cost and the miscellaneous would cost around 200 so basically to survive in Darmstadt a, pers a person per a month need some 800 to 900 euros okay yeah All right. Uh, can you also tell us about you know the fees or the contribution that you make to university or the semester contribution or if you are getting any student ticket, semester ticket to Rome around Darmstadt, how much is that for? Uh, there is nothing we pay for the university related to the uh, course. Okay. We just pay for the semester ticket. That uh -huh. is once in a six months we pay around 290 euros. Okay. Yes. Uh, uh -huh. We get semester ticket and we can roam all around Darmstadt uh -huh. and uh, around some few places around the dam start yes. okay now we are coming to end of our video and in the end i want to ask the you know about her feedback on the course on the university what does she think of so can you tell us something about that yeah the one who graduated from ice program would get lot of exposure mm -hmm. for the research opportunities that germany has okay i mean uh, as coming from a technical university you may get a phd opportunity anywhere in europe mm -hmm. so so mainly we should concentrate on the uh, score, I mean the master score, mm -hmm. if it is less than 2.5, it's a good thing that you can do your PhD in Europe. What is your, you know, what do you want to tell to the upcoming students, what they should come prepared for this course? Yeah, there is nothing to prepare for this course, but I would suggest them to learn the language and come here. The so German, it would be, uh, yeah, language. I mean okay. the German language, so mm -hmm. it would be, the mm -hmm. life would be very easier if you mm -hmm. know German okay so all right thank you so much guys for all the details that you valuable details that you shared and i'm sure that these details will come in handy for you uh, when you'll be start you know looking for you know applying for this university or even if you have an admit then you can make your decision based on this information whether you want to come here or not now what do you want to you know what do you want to tell these guys what they have to do now yeah i, I should appreciate you for letting all of them know about how the our courses and the insights that students are facing here so that they would have an idea yeah. so if you like the video please like share and comment to rishikesh yeah thank yeah. you so much and i'll see you in the next one bye